I'm going to get scientific on you for a little bit, so you're going to have to bear with me. Heat loss from the home. The, the speed or how fast heat loss is lost from the home depends on a science. Basically, the area of the house, area, and we're not talking about floor area. We're talking about all this area that separates the heated areas from the cold areas. This is what they call the thermal envelope of the house. And you add up all these different areas, and you divide it by the resistance of the home to heat passing through it. And resistance is pretty easy to think about because all the insulation guys talk about R value. R value is just the resistance that the materials in your home have to heat passing through it. All right? And you take that and multiply it times the difference in temperature. The temperature inside the house minus the temperature outside the house. That's critically important because temperature is what pushes the heat through the surface of your house. The bigger that difference in temperature, the faster the heat is lost from the house. And let me give you an example. Let's say you keep your house at 70 degrees and outside the temperature is 40 degrees. All right. That means you got 30 degrees of pressure pushing the heat out of your home. That pushes the heat at one speed. Well, let's say it gets to be nighttime and the temperature inside still is at 70, but the temperature outside is dropped to 10. We got a 60 degree difference in temperature between inside and outside pushing the heat out of the house. And I had a person in one of my classes ask me once, how come my furnace runs so much at night but hardly at all during the day? And I says, well, it's because of this temperature difference. I mean, one way of reducing this temperature difference is when you go to sleep at night, maybe knock your temperature back to 55. Now instead of this 60 degree temperature difference, there's only 45. I mean, you're all curled up in your blankets anyway. So that's why setback thermostats are a big issue and, and a good energy savings. If you can put an automatic device like a, a setback thermostat and program it in so that you have one temperature when you're awake and another temperature when you're curled up inside your blankets, you can save significant amounts of money. It's because you're going to lower that temperature and reduce that pressure that pushes the heat out of your home. 